<clears throat> Aha! Aha! We're live! Yes, we're live! Oh my goodness, hello! I was saying hi to my fans, not you! It's not always about you, Luna! Hey, hey, hey! Hi, guys! Okay, um, so excited, uh... Oh, I see you guys. Okay, it's always a little weird to start these because you feel like you're talking to yourself because, you know, at first I can't see you guys, but now I see you guys. Um, hello, Finn Namvu. You're the first to say hello. Thank you so much. And Michael. Um, you guys, I, I'm a little bit... And this is kind of surreal. I can't believe it. My album is finally out. Brave enough. You guys are listening to it. You have it. And um, that is such a cool feeling. I've worked on this album um for a year i started it almost a year ago and uh and it's just crazy to think that now i can see you guys enjoy it i've i've seen you guys posting pictures with it and um so i just want to say you guys are the best it's making me so excited that um finally we're sharing this together um and uh you know, and it was it was a really cool album to work on because it wasn't just me working on it. I worked on it with a lot of people. Obviously, there's a lot of collaborators on the track that are singing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I did get some amazing singers, everyone from, you know, Lecrae rapping on it to Dan and Shay singing from the country scene. Mm -hmm. We've got Christina Perry, Rivers Cuomo, Andrew McMahon, um, so many people, ZZ Ward, Rudy, and Cara Faye. I think I got them all. Sorry, I don't... Oh, and, um, of course, um, Raja. Uh, but, you guys, it was it was amazing to have all these collaborators on the album. Mm -hmm. But also, I wrote with a lot of different people. There were a lot of different producers on it. Uh, so, anyways, my management has helped me tremendously. So, this has been a huge group effort to bring this album to life. Um, and oh, Bailey says she's been listening to it non-stop, so thank you so much. I'm glad that you like it. Ah, but um, anyways, um, yes, my hair is blue today. I, you know, a, a girl's got to switch it up sometimes. It just makes it, uh, makes life kind of exciting. Um, right now I'm actually at, uh, I'm at my parents' house. I'm in Arizona mm -hmm. hanging out um, after tour. I decided to come home and uh, and spend some time with my family and uh, and uh, and with Luna, of course. But um, but yeah, so I'm actually in uh, in Arizona right now, and someone's asked me to come to Mexico. Um, I will be there. Hopefully, in 2017, I'll be making it to Mexico and hopefully South America. But we're definitely coming back to Mexico. I saw someone asking about the UK. I will be at the U in the UK. Um, I'm actually playing at Electric Picnic. Um, a festival in, uh, is it in Ireland or Scotland or, anyways, but it's in that area, and then we're doing a full European tour, um, in the spring. So, Europe, I will see you in the spring. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, in the U.S., though, I'm touring, I just finished a, a U.S., um, tour, and then we're gonna start a new U.S. tour really soon. So, um, tickets are on sale now for our fall tour, and it's gonna be a brand new tour. It's a tour that I've never done before. It's gonna be the Brave Enough Tour, playing a lot of music off the new album, and of course, some of the old favorites as well. Don't worry, we'll still be doing those. Um... But yeah, you can go online um, and get tickets for that tour. And I have to say, I I was really nervous because I loved the Music Box tour. That was like, that show was so special to me. I, I, I worked so hard on it and planning it and, um, and just learning the choreography, putting it together, the creativity that went into that show. I spent so, I spent months on that show. And I really thought to myself, how am I going to outdo that show? Like, I always want to make sure that when you guys come to a show, I don't want you to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. I want to do something new. Um, I want to do something that's going to surprise you guys and get you guys um, excited. And so I really was worried that, you know, I, I loved the Music Box Tour so much, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to outdo it. But... I have been thinking for months about mm -hmm. what I was going to do for the Brave Enough tour, and it's all coming together now. We start rehearsal soon, and oh my gosh, I think this tour is going to be my favorite tour I've ever done. I didn't think that was possible after the Music Box tour, but honestly, I'm really excited. We've got some really fun ideas, um, and also just the music off this album means so much to me, and so the fact that I get to play it live for you guys, um, I'm pretty stoked about it. Yay! 
Yay! So anyways, you can go to lindsaysterling.com and you can get tickets for the Brave Enough Tour coming to the U.S. this fall. We'll be all over the place in the States. And then, don't worry, Europe will be coming to you in the spring. And the rest of the world, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, you know, um, Europe, or sorry, um, Australia and South America and Asia. I have not forgotten about you. Um, we're planning when we're going to come. Anyways, um, ticka ticka tee. So do you guys have any questions about the album? Or, um, I would love to also, well yeah, just, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to chat with you about any of your questions. Also, um, a cool thing about the album, I have, uh, I have an exclusive uh, <clears throat> version of the album at Target. So if you buy the album at Target, you get four bonus tracks. And they're in all instrumental. So um, if you go to Target to buy the album, yeah, you get four instrumental bonus tracks. Um, and, I, you know, it was really hard to choose the songs for the album because I, um, I wrote... Psh, I wrote a lot of songs. Um, started a lot. So I probably wrote over, like, 60 songs. For this album, um, you know, and I only got to choose 14. Or I probably wrote even more than that. I don't know. I have a, a little folder on my file just full of extra songs. And so um, it was really hard to just choose um, seven instrumentals. And so I took my favorite other instrumentals and I put them, you know, the ones that I, it felt like I was cutting off my right arm um, when I finished the album because I, I had to leave some of the songs out. So I was really excited about this Target version of the album because they, I got to take four of the songs that I loved that just I didn't have room on the album for and I got to put them on. Oh, someone just says they got the, or Leonard says he got the Target album and he loves Waltz. Yeah, that was a fun song. Um, Waltz is on that version. It's a bonus track at Target um, and I wrote it in a 3-4 time and so it's this big intense song but it's, it's written like a waltz, like a beautiful elegant dance but it's big. It's, it's, a, it's kind of um, it's very inspired by, um, it sounds a lot like, uh, you know, people that are saying, oh, you've changed. It, it has kind of that old Lindsay sound to it, which some people really like, and I didn't want to give up, of course, so um, that's why Waltz is there. Um, and, uh, ooh, is there any way to get the exclusive version in Europe? Hmm. No Target in Europe, you're saying. Uh, I bet you can order... I'm almost positive you can order it online through Target's website. I think. So go check that out. Go to Target.com. Um, look at their music. Mm -hmm. See if you can order it online. Um, any new music videos being released soon? Uh, let me see. Uh... I am currently almost, I'm almost done with a music video for Prism, uh, and actually I'm really excited about it. It was um, a super mm. unique video for me. It's very different from anything I've ever done, and it's actually a video I had the idea a long time ago what to do for this, this song, um, like years ago, and so I, I actually wrote Prism specifically so I could make this music video, so it's really fun. Um, and, uh, da -ka -da -ka -da. Someone's asking where can you get Firefly if you didn't do Pledge. Um, mm -hmm. Right now it's only available through Pledge. We might release it um, in the future, possibly as a single. So as of now, mm -hmm. there's no plans mm -hmm. for that. But if you guys want it available, um, I will think about that. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> my manager just corrected me. She just sent me a text saying that actually the bonus tracks are available on the European album as well. So you can get the bonus tracks in Europe, like Waltz, the one I was just talking about. Um, one of the other bonus tracks that, well actually I really liked all the bonus tracks on the Target version. Um, actually I just bought the album at Target and it was funny, I was listening through it like from front to back with the bonus tracks and everything here with my family, they wanted to put it on. <sighs> So I didn't, I told him, okay, we can listen to my music, okay. Um, but I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I loved these bonus tracks. Um, and uh, there, there's one called, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, my mind is blanking. There's one of them that uh, is, is kind of inspired, like Master of Tides, it's inspired by a pirate's life. So, you know, you guys know me, I'm obsessed with pirates. Um, did it, I'm reading your questions. Oh, you make the best music in the world. Thank you, Mueller. I appreciate that. Um, 
but uh, I'm seeing people sad they didn't know about Pledge um, and Firefly, but you know, I'll see if I can figure out how to get that song available for you. Um, but uh, anyways, you guys have any favorite songs on the album? I would love to hear what your favorite songs are, especially because um, my tour is pretty much planned, but if I see that you guys really like a certain song, then I can try to add it into the tour if I wasn't doing it. Um, Forgotten Voyage, that's the bonus track that's inspired by, um, that, or that was kind of like a pirate version, like Master of Tides. Anyways, um, Luna, where's Luna? Luna's never far away, are you, Luna? Say hi to everybody. Hey, babes. Hi. She's like, I was sleeping. What's, what are you doing? Yeah, you can just continue sleeping if the fans just wanted to say hi. And look at this. Luna has a wig too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's so chill. She's such a good dog. She like lets me do anything to her. Yes. Oh, maybe that feels good. Does that feel good? Okay, sorry. I get really mm. easily distracted, especially with my Lunars. She's the best puppy in the world. Yeah. Um, I saw someone saying they loved uh, Round Table Rival, I mean, off the old album, but there's actually a song on the new album that was inspired by and actually specifically written to be a, f a follow-up or a continuation, kind of, of the Round Table Rival sound. So, just see if you guys can guess which one that might be. I'll let you guys think about that. But, uh, but yeah, do you guys have any favorite tracks on the album? Uh... <laughs> let's see um look sorry looking forward to seeing you in dc tim i'm excited to see you as well in dc um but also i don't want you guys uh oh sorry i'm just reading your questions this is hard i gotta look at you i gotta look at your questions um but um, you know what's also kind of exciting is on Tuesday, I'm going to be on the Today Show. Yay! To um, just uh, promote the new album. I'll be playing twice on it. So I'll be playing uh, the arena early in the morning. So if you want to wake up at the crack of dawn to see the arena be played, I'll be playing it live on TV for mm. the first time. And then also I'm going to be playing with Andrew McMahon. We're going to be doing something wild um, a little bit after that. So anyways, hope to see you guys. Don't forget Tuesday, the Today Show. It's going to be so much fun. Um, but uh, da -ga -da -ga -da. anyways... It looks like people are saying The Arena is their favorite song I've seen. I've seen some people say that Brave Enough is a favorite song, which, how great is Christina Perry? I mean, let's just talk about for a second. I love Christina. I met her um, a long time ago, I guess about a year and a half ago. Um, we both had a tour in... Um, in Asia and so we were both traveling through Asia and we would literally pass each other in the airports we were just constantly like oh hi but we we actually met in Dubai um, we were both playing at the same festival and then we kept running into each other all across Asia and um, I just immediately fell in love with her um, she became a really good friend um, when uh, Gavi passed away she was one of the first people actually to, to text mm -hmm. me and ask me if I needed anything and um, anyway she's just an angel, a literal angel. I, I love Christina, mm -hmm. and so um, she was amazing. But honestly, everybody was great to work with on the album. So, but uh, anyways, oh, where do we go? Someone's saying that where do we go is their favorite. Carafe, another thing. I mean, like I said, I, you know, a lot of times people in the music industry get a bad rap for being like crazy or or hard or edgy or not nice, but, oh my gosh, everybody I, I worked with on this album, and I, the more I work with um, musicians, you know, most musicians and even people that are, like, famous, like like Christina Perry or, um, or Rivers from Weezer, like, they were all so nice, and I just keep learning over and over again that this world is full of good people, and this industry is full of amazing people, and um, Cara Faye, who sings Where Do We Go, um, that's... Like, the meaning of that song is one of my favorite songs on the album. Mm -hmm. Where do you go when your prayers are answered, but the answer is no? 
You know, I don't even need to explain that. That says it all. Um, but I wrote that song with Kara, and she was in the band Shiny Toy Guns. I was a huge fan of Shiny Toy Guns when I was in college. Um, used to go dance to their music. You Were the One was like one of my favorite songs. I would play it on repeat as I studied. Um, but, uh, but yeah, she's, she's so, she's so kind. She's so amazing. She's also like extremely faith oriented. And we talked a lot about our belief in God and just how we've relied on that faith in our lives to get us through the good times and to get us through the bad times. Um, and, uh, so anyways, this song, Where Do We Go was written, um, because we both we're going. We were both going through some interesting things, but our faith was carrying us through. And even though we didn't know where to go, um, we knew that we were going to be led to where we needed to be in the best place for us. And I know that things happen for a reason. Um, so yeah, Kara's amazing. She came. Um, she came on tour with me this fall um, or this summer, which was awesome. And we got to perform. Where do we go live? Mm -hmm. So much fun. Um, but. Uh, yeah, we're we're still trying to figure out who's going to come on tour with us in the fall, so I will let you know soon. Um, so, yeah, I've seen some people saying that uh, some people were talking about Lecrae. Um, you know, it's funny. I didn't actually get to meet Lecrae. We've talked on the phone. We've emailed. We, we like, worked on the track remotely, basically. Um, I You know, and he was so cool to work with. I cannot wait to meet him. And um, that's that ended up being one of my, like favorite songs on the, I mean, I don't know, they're all my babies, but, um, Don't Let This Feeling Fade was so much fun. It just got better and better and better the more we worked on it. I've seen several people say that Lost Girls is their favorite. I love that song, so thank you, and, um, it's really cool to see you guys are liking it. It's, uh, um, and I see lots of people are commenting on my hair. Thank you. It's a wig. I couldn't fool anybody pretending this was real, let's be honest. Um, yeah, I've gotten into wigs the last little bit. It's great. I, well, my hair's my hair wasn't growing very well because I was constantly, like, straightening it and curling it and doing it all the time. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to get some cool wigs. And then I, I, have to, I don't have to style my hair as much because I've got my awesome wigs that I just throw on and it saves me time. And... It's saving my hair. My hair's starting to grow again. <gasps> so maybe someday I'll have long hair. Um, let's see. Um, Mirage. Mirage is somebody's favorite. That song is kind of crazy because I tried to write a Bollywood song for my last album. I wanted to do a Bollywood song on Shatter Me. And I tried like several times to write one and it just never happened. I just couldn't quite figure it out. And then for this album I was like, okay. I'm gonna write a Bollywood song because I just really want to make a movie with a or a music video. I guess a movie, a little movie. I wanted to make a music video in the Bollywood style and just Bollywood music in general uses like really cool violins and strings. And so I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna try it again. So I tried it, not once, not twice, but after like writing, trying to write it two separate times with different producers, I was like, okay. I really want this song and I was I didn't want to give up and so a week before the album was due like I'd been working on this album for a year almost everything's done and I decided I wanted to go into the studio one more time as we were finishing up all the other tracks I wanted to try to write a Bollywood song so with just a few days left I started Mirage and we finished it in like three days and um, just barely in time for it to make the album. So it was kind of like, you know, they always say like sometimes in the 11th hour in those last couple minutes is when some genius comes. And um, I was pretty burnt out of writing. I didn't want to go write anymore. I was like, I just want to call it done. But at the same time, I was like, oh, I really wanted, I wasn't done yet. I, I wanted to work till the end. And sure enough, the very last second, that's when my genius finally arrived, and I wrote Mirage with uh, this amazing producer, and uh, um, Raja added her vocals. It just kind of was meant to be, because it all fell into place. I met Raja right before, and she happened to be a, an artist that has a Bollywood style, and uh, anyways, it worked. Um, anyways... Um, so I've seen a lot of people saying they love the Phoenix. Okay, we got some rockers out there. That song is like a, the chorus comes and it's kind of a surprise. It's like, I mean, it just, it, it rocks pretty hard. I'm really excited. I think I might try that one in the live show. Well, definitely at some point I'll put that in the live show. And Drew, my drummer, is like so excited to play that one because the drums are like really intense. Anyways, 
Um, dick -dick -dick -dick. Prism is somebody's favorite. Um, have I read Big Magic? I have read Big Magic, actually. I read it while I was writing this album. I read several books while I was writing this album. Um, I started to read The Artist Way, which is amazing. It's a book about creativity. I think even one time I was so inspired when I started reading The Artist's Way that I just like randomly started periscoping and I started talking about creativity and faith and God and music. I, I just went off like on you guys. So I don't know if anyone was a part of that periscope, but I was I was in like a zone when I did that. Um, but yeah, I read part of The Artist Way. I read several books by Brene Brown, and I highly recommend these books. They changed my life. Um, the Gift of Imperfections, Daring Greatly, and Rising Strong. Um, gosh, those books really inspired the whole writing of this album, especially um, Daring Greatly is what the arena is written about, pretty much, that book. And then um, Rising Strong is what inspired The Phoenix. So, and like I said, those songs were specifically inspired by that, but all the songs, I would say most of them were very inspired by, you know, her books are about vulnerability and, um, and about overcoming shame. And that's something that every single, every single person has shame. And we react in ways to try to cover ourselves up and hide the shame that we have. And it makes us mask ourselves. And her books are all about learning to be vulnerable and open yourself up. Anyways, they're, they're really cool. Um, First Light is someone's favorite. Oh, thanks. I like, it's just funny. Whenever you guys say one is your favorite, you could say any one. But like, they're all, I, I love them all. And so, oh, Andrew, Andrew Hopkins says he read Daring Greatly and it was really good. So that's two recommendations, me and Andrew. Um, but anyways, anytime you guys say a song is your favorite, I feel like you're, you know, you're playing with one of my kids on the playground. So it's, it's great. Um, first Light. Oh, another one for First Light. Cool. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so I guess uh, just reminders for you guys. I'm in the middle of planning my, my um, tour for this fall. I mean, I've been working on it for a long time, but now I'm starting to actually, like, get into the nitty-gritty. We're, like, creating all the videos. I'm on emails every day, like, telling people notes of what I want in the videos for the screens and the, the stage design. And I'm working on costume designs and um, starting to work on choreography. So, guys, that this fall tour, I'm telling you. Like I said, I didn't think I would be able to outdo the Music Box Tour. I was really worried. I was like, how am I going to do a show that's as good as this show? Because I loved the Music Box Tour so much. But I think this tour is going to be really special. The Brave Enough Tour. Um, I'm so excited for it. I've been planning it. I've been working on it. And uh, you guys will not be disappointed. So tickets are available for the Brave Enough Tour right now at lindsaysterling.com. And, um, and yeah, go there to... to Come see us in the fall. So we'll be in the U.S. in the fall, we'll be in Europe in the spring. Um, Luna will be with us. Won't you? Won't you do me then? <laughs> She's like, not now. I'm on my 15-minute break. Luna's all, okay, Luna sleeps like 20 hours a day, I would say. Yeah, she sleeps a lot. Um, let's see... Please come to Dallas. Yeah, in the fall. Go look at my website. We're coming to Dallas. We're coming all over the South because the Music Box Tour did not make it to the South. So don't worry. We'll be there soon. Um, how did I get that hair color? It's a wig. Shh, don't tell anybody. I wish this was my real hair, but it's great. Wigs, I can just switch. Like, sometimes I'm a blonde. The other day I went out as a blonde with bangs. Um, I also have, like, this awesome teal ombre one. I have, like, five wigs that I like. Well, yeah, they're fun. They've all been accumulated from different projects that I've done. I just keep getting cool wigs. Um, oh, someone's got tickets for Salt Lake City. I can't wait to see you in Salt Lake. Um, Salt Lake's awesome. It's like a, it's almost like a home, well, it is like a hometown for me. I started my music career from Salt Lake. So, um, anyways, when will I come to Brazil again? I hope we'll be back to South America in 2017. Um, someone's asked me about those days. Um, that song was written specifically about, um, remembering the good times. Um, especially because I was so hurt after losing Gavi 
And um, so that song was kind of about the joy of remembering the best times. You know, life changes and changes hard. But it's important to look at the moments you're in and realize that they are full of beauty um, because someday you'll be looking back at those days, realizing that the time you're in right now is a beautiful time. Um, every every phase of life has beauty to it. And, um, yeah, sometimes I catch myself just looking back at the past um, and maybe being sad that it's gone. But also um, I heard from a, actually another close person to me is going through cancer right now. Um, which is really hard and uh, I was talking to this person uh, not long ago I was saying just gosh it's not fair it's not fair is what I kept saying you know that this should be happening and their response was you know what I've lived a great life and you know he just kept saying how, how thankful he was looking back on um, his past and his life and all the beautiful experiences he's had and um, he had chosen gratitude rather than being angry. And that's kind of like the song, Where Do You Go When Your Prayer Is Answered and the answer is no. Like, all the songs are very connected. Because um, sometimes, yeah, we've done everything right and now I'm asking, where do I go? And so you can either be filled with confusion um, or you can be look back and realize that, you know what, I've had a great ride and there's gratitude in everything. Like, we can, we can be gratitude. And the antidote for anger, the antidote for pride, the antidote for fear is gratitude. If you can fill your life with gratitude, you'll be so much happier. And I continuously try to learn this and remind myself of it. Um, there's always, there's always going to be something to complain about, but there's also always something to be grateful for. So that's what those days is about. It's about specifically me being grateful that I had Gavi in my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad that I lost him, but gosh, how lucky am I that I had him um, in my life so much. So... Um, anyways, that's that song. Um, how does it make a song with Christina Perry? Christina's awesome. I love Christina. She's such an angel and she's so kind. Um, and actually I wrote that song with, uh, somebody else. I wrote Brave Enough, um, and then I, I was looking for the perfect singer for it, and uh, Christina Perry was kind of the person I had in mind. She was my first choice, and so I'm so glad that she was able to do it, and that she liked the song, and she, um, anyways, it's, it's, it was awesome. Everything just came together so well. Um, but uh, anyhow, guys, my album's out. That's, that's it. Um, I can't believe it's out. I can't believe you guys are listening to it and sharing with me finally your thoughts on what you think of it. It means so much to me that you guys like it. I was so, I was so nervous writing this album, so afraid that I wouldn't be able to, um, that I wouldn't be able to do it. And, uh, you know, it's very scary to go in and write and hope that you come up with something that makes people feel something. It scares me. And, um, Every session, I took Luna into the studio. Yeah, this little one. And she sat on my lap the whole time. Every day, every single session. I also would oftentimes wear something of Gavi's to remind me that he was with me. Because I know he, I know he was with me as I wrote this album. I know he was inspiring me. And, um, and then, uh, so anyways, just, I'm so glad you guys like it. It, uh, it means so much to me. This album means so much to me, and uh, I love you guys. I love you so much, and I uh, poured, poured my little heart in this album because I, I wanted to make something for you guys that was real. Um, and that, uh, that came from right there. Wait, right there. That's my heart. So, anyways, I will hopefully be seeing you in the fall. Touring, I'll be touring all fall, all spring. Tickets are on lindsaysterling.com for the U.S. and Europe. Um, also, don't miss us on the Today Show. On Tuesday, me and Andrew McMahon going to be rocking out uh, something wild. And we'll be playing the arena. And, uh, yeah. Also, you can get my album pretty much everywhere. Amazon, iTunes, and uh, Best Buy, Walmart. If you want to get the deluxe version, it's only at Target with the four extra bonus tracks. Um, and, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Peace. Oh, no. How do I do this? <laughs>